still continuing here at London's Astoria 2 and um, I've been joined in fact by Toby from Banco de Gaia. In fact you are Banco de Gaia really. I you? am really yeah. There's, there's nobody else. Not no there's people behind the scenes but yeah. I'm the, the face. What, in the musical sense or in other ways? Um, a guy called Andy I formed a band with some years back does sound for me now and sometimes right. helps with production as well. Right. But certainly writing and performance it's me. It's you up there taking responsibility. Yeah. Now um, you've actually been in a few different things haven't you? I read you were in a heavy metal band, a Bangra band, a a jazz band. It had to come out, didn't it? Yeah, Those roots. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was in a Bangra band, a guy based in Coventry for a while. Yeah. Um, started off playing drums in a heavy metal band a long time ago, okay. I would add. Um, and then, yeah, did various other things, playing guitar in like, jazz bands, folk bands. Plus yeah. going off to the Middle East. Yes, yeah, travelling has always been something I like doing. Right. Uh, in the Middle East, Egypt especially, is somewhere I like. So, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of what would appear like sort of Eastern and world influences there going on. Is that part of your travelling experience or just something um, you like anyway? I think the two are connected. I don't think the travelling calls the ethnic influences. I think they're both part of me. Yeah. I have an interest in cultures from around the world, so they both come out, yeah. both in travelling and in the music. Yeah. So do you feel like there's an affinity with, with other people particularly experimenting in this area, like I don't know, Guru and Transglobal? Yeah. Um, the big thing that's brought us all into this position, this technology, obviously it's got cheaper and opened up a whole world of possibilities, yeah. literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's interesting to see what other bands like Loop Grew or Transglobal Underground or William Orbit are doing. Yeah. They all have similar technology, <laughs> similar sources, but do very different things with it. Yeah. But it's the creative really, side of it. The creative side, yeah. 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 So you've actually, you've, I think you released two cassette albums and you've got your first one on Planet Dog. There were, there were actually three cassette albums, one oh. of them was a live one. Oh, That's right. a few years back. Then there's a few tracks come up on compilations here and there. Right. Then yeah, the first album, full CD album came out in February on Ultimate called Maya, right. Ultimate Planet Dog. Okay. We're going to see you on stage now. Thanks for talking to us. You're welcome.